I will try to do my uh, best uh, in order to tell something about the so huge problem that the uh, Roma problem is in uh, uh, Nova Day Europe. So I concentrated on uh, the uh, Roma people in Romanian national elections uh, in 2012, December 9. Uh, why I uh, choose this uh, uh, topic because I think it's a very emblematic one for what happened with Roma in uh, our day. <clears throat> my uh, my uh, main uh, chapter in this uh, presentation will be opportunities for Roma political representation, uh, what the Roma possible political success could mean, unfortunately it was not a political success, how the academia could contribute to uh, sustainable EU solidarity. Uh, so you can see the subtitles uh, of uh, this presentation, and I will try to give you uh, some image of uh, the problem connected uh, with this. Uh, don't uh, hesitate to put questions anytime when you need more information. I could consider me as a resource person in of uh, this uh, field and uh, I will be very happy to share with anybody any information that you like to uh, know on this uh, uh, field. So, characterizing the uh, Romanian political situation, sorry, Uh, we have uh, in 2012 uh, in Romania a uh, very agitated uh, political atmosphere. Two uh, groups uh, of, in, in politics uh, fight uh, one with each other and uh, the minorities uh, sometimes follow the uh, fight other time just trying to find their own way in this one. Uh, the big group was this social liberal union, uh, which was, uh, was anti-president uh, of Romania, Traian Basescu, uh, which is a uh, rightist uh, president from the right uh, political side. And uh, uh, a Romanian Right Association, Romanians for uh, the Right, which was uh, pro uh, the, This uh, second group was uh, in power for, let's say, around eight years in Romania. Uh, also, we had a large reaction against the corrupt right. Uh, they tried to uh, portraitize this as an uh, anti-European uh, uh, atmosphere, but uh, uh, in the country the problem was with the corruption of the, the right side. Uh, we were also in a confusing mix electoral system. It's something so incredible uh, if somebody like me to discuss about it, uh, I could provide information to, to teach uh, uh, <coughs> many years uh, before political, uh, electoral political system. Uh, briefly speaking, it's a combination between majority systems, uh, winner take all, with the PR representations, the vote are casting according with majority system and the uh, seat 
uh, are um, uh, gained according to SPR uh, uh, rules. So this creates a lot of problem, but uh, was not a political willingness to change the electoral system. Uh, the electoral system, together with all this uh, uh, political atmosphere, created a freeway for new political players. In this uh, uh, atmosphere, in this uh, environment, uh, the Roma was trying to uh, find their political uh, space. I was trying to put this just to be very clear that we have a left side and a right side. It's not exactly the same because here we have a political alliance of the left with the libertarians, plus minorities in a way because here we have also many differences. Uh, opportunities for Roma political representation. Uh, in uh, Romania, maybe as in all the European countries, there is an uh, official um, uh, possibility for any minority to have one uh, representative in political life. In Romania, uh, it also works, and the group uh, registered there as the group entitled to have this uh, of uh, this by uh, rule uh, uh, seats is the party of the Roma party da Romilor in Romania uh, which is a kind of political association of uh, Roma uh, minority, a very diverse minority, and a very complicated uh, one. Uh, the place, the seat is um, uh, granted only in the uh, low chamber, in the chamber of uh, deputy, but sometimes it means something because uh, in terms of uh, um, building coalitions, the minority group uh, can play a role. Uh, and another group that tried to enter into politics is uh, this uh, group, sorry for the uh, incorrect uh, spelling, is uh, Civic Alliance of Roma of Romania. This Civic Alliance is um, a uh, political construction that, uh, uh, done by the Roma educated uh, people, uh, graduated at the university in Romania and outside, and very well uh, trained. Uh, they are also connected with the uh, grassroots Roma uh, people because they uh, who used to work in NGOs, and they uh, know very well the Roma communities in the village, in the uh, poor uh, uh, <coughs> zone of the in the urban uh, area. So these two groups have the chance to have. Uh, political position. But what uh, happened is uh, only one could be registered in the um, political party registers and they start to fight one against others. Uh, this uh, Roma party was uh, uh, a traditional Roma uh, political force they start their activity in, back in 1991, and they have all the position in the administration, in the executive, uh, and uh, the agency for uh, national agency for uh, Roma 
people. So they were very well uh, seated in the uh, political uh, life of Romania. Uh, political situation of Roma in Romania in 2012, new Roma activist. So uh, with, uh, in the case of this highly educated Roma, they were affirmed and confirmed. When I, uh, well, what I mean by confirming, in the uh, local election, they succeed to have uh, twice uh, many votes as uh, the traditional uh, Roma party. Uh, they have support for, um, from the different uh, NGOs, national and international, uh, NDI, National Democratic Institute, was training uh, them in order to uh, be able to develop a political campaign to, uh, for leadership and so on. Romanian press was also on their side, and also uh, Soros Foundation helped them. Uh, on another uh, favoring, uh, and another factor they favored the Roma uh, affirmation was the creation of Roma criminal clans. Clans. Um, I, I'm not sure if uh, you are familiar with this, but we have in Romania a lot of criminal group with Roma that uh, uh, were involved in trafficking of human beings, uh, were involved in trafficking of uh, uh, drugs, uh, were uh, involved in other criminal activities. Uh, they were uh, documented and they were, uh, they were sent to trials. So their decline was a chance for this new uh, educated Roma to appear in political uh, life. Uh, the Roma in Europe. I was trying to design uh, this chart to put uh, the uh, barriers uh, in order to show you how many Roma do we have in this eastern part of uh, Europe and how complicated it is to uh, manage their uh, situation. Uh, if you need more detailed uh, data, I can provide you this one. But I think this is quite uh, I, I didn't um, put too much emphasis on the non-EU uh, member. Uh, a large group of Roma people uh, we have also in Vojvodina in uh, northern uh, Serbia. And we have the, there, if you look on the map, uh, a group uh, names that indicate the Roma origin, India for example. Or Vojvodina, maybe our colleague could uh, help us to uh, know better this. Uh, <clears throat> the largest group has number around uh, two millions uh, we have in Romania. This is not the official data. Officially, they uh, recognize, uh, they um, registered themselves in the uh, last uh, census. Uh, around 60, uh, uh, six, um, uh, hundred thousand, uh, I, I'm not very good. <laughs> yeah, um, it's uh, a quarter of this uh, uh, number. But uh, usually the Roma avoid to register themselves as uh, uh, Roma because of the uh, stigmatizing uh, culture that is uh, in our country and uh, because of uh, their uh, opportunity to get better without uh, such a declaration. Uh, Roma is also the most vital one, uh, the most vital group in all the Europe. 
Uh, what I mean by this, uh, uh, since I'm a vital uh, group, um, if uh, you consider the number of the children uh, per family in a non-Roma uh, European family, we have one or two. If we consider Roma, we have at least five, sometimes more. If we consider the marriage in the Roma group, the marriage in the Roma group are earlier marriage, 14, 16. This is the uh, period of uh, marriage. And for the non-Roma, the marriage is somewhere after 25 to 30. That is, uh, if we try to project this one, uh, we uh, see very simple how many Roma we, we will have in the next 20 years. And uh, how will be the percentage of Roma in total uh, uh, population of Slovakia, for example? As a matter of fact, in Bratislava, they decide to be to apply for to uh, UN to be a nation without state, and now they fight for their uh, political identity uh, there. There they design their anthems and. Uh, 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 their um, uh, national flag, which is quite common with the Indian one. Uh, uh, we are also uh, in the uh, Roma, uh, in the presence of the most mobile group in Europe. Uh, one of three of Roma, popul uh, of, uh, Roma group members is moving is moving all the time. This is connected with their uh, tradition of being uh, nomad groups and uh, is uh, also connected with their uh, easiness of way to, to find relatives everywhere in Europe, to, to design connections and to uh, use them in order to move from a place to others. Uh, <clears throat> The Roma is also the most intensely targeted as criminals and first evoking uh, as nurturing the increasing anti-Ziganism in Europe. The term is uh, coined by one of the most important research in uh, uh, Roma problem. I am uh, uh, referring here to Ian Hancock. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, it's not uh, very clear how many Roma we have in Romania and how they are distributed in the country. Uh, you have the official map, uh, uh, the, the biggest one, which is uh, a map uh, designed according to the result of the census uh, of uh, 2001. And uh, the Dark uh, uh, brown color indicate how many Roma we have. Uh, you can uh, see how they are concentrated in uh, Romania. The next map, uh, which is unofficial, uh, in, uh, only in June, uh, the next June, the Roma will be uh, the. Uh, the results of the Romanian census will be published. Uh, you can see there from brown to red, all the colors uh, indicate how many Roma we have. Uh, so uh, here I was trying to put the results in uh, Romanian election 2012. Uh, I put there the left in red color, 
And I put uh, in the green color to the right. Why I choose the green, uh, it's not quite uh, correct, because if we like to fit with the European Parliament color, uh, color I will uh, have to uh, put um, blue, but um, they decide for uh, green as a color in uh, national elections, just to uh, let people forget about uh, their group uh, and uh, accuse it uh, for corruption. The results was like in the table, you can see a huge majority voted for the left. You have the first, the Senate, and uh, uh, the lower chamber, uh, you have the percentage, the number of votes there, and after the number of seats. Romania used uh, the so-called method don't uh, in um, distributing the seats. That means that the large party gets more seats than the uh, a small one. Uh, I have no idea how to show the entire table if somebody could help me with the, Okay. Uh, there are. Okay. Oh, it's, it's, it's not. Uh, oh. Maybe. Oh. So, this is. Okay. So if you, uh, if you like to take a look on the table, you can see uh, the results for the two major groups. And a new entering in Romanian uh, political lives, a, populi uh, like a populist party, a uh, party of the people, Dan Diaconescu. It, it was... Uh, uh, owner of a uh, uh, TV uh, station, and he uh, promised anything to anybody, and he get a lot of votes. That uh, show us that was really a free way for new political forces in Romania. There with the red color is the Democratic Alliance of Hungary and of Romania. They were in the coalition in power, but before the election, they had an agreement with the left side of uh, uh, political forces, and uh, they uh, tried to play the role of uh, a very strong party in the theory, in the classical political uh, theory. So, this is the See, as anybody could see, no Roma as a collective actor could be seen on the Romanian political How is the share gained by Roma? in this uh, election. Sorry for this 91, it's 2012. Uh, Roma received only two seats in the uh, low chamber. One is uh, this official, uh, uh, please take into consideration the quotation mark, uh, of uh, uh, Roma party representative is Nicolae Pavun. And the other one is uh, received by uh, a member of uh, Social Democrat Party. It, it is Madeleine Voicu, uh, uh, very important, very known, well-known uh, politician in Romania, which is assuming his uh, uh, Roma origin. In the Senate, we have one member, which is uh, uh, important uh, pl uh, musician player. Uh, the, the name is Damian Dragic. He it, it is a winner of Grammy uh, uh, 
and very well known in the world of uh, musician and uh, very educated uh, uh, person. He also uh, have uh, uh, this uh, seat in the Senate because he was uh, uh, working with the Social Democrat and uh, he used to be uh, before the advisor of the Romanian uh, current Prime Minister, Peter Pond. So, uh, if you take into consideration in the uh, chamber, it is uh, the, uh, the results in the uh, Chamber of Deputy, Roma has no <coughs> play to, uh, there was no place to play uh, a in the political uh, game. If you consider that they represent a uh, 10 percentage of Romanian population, it, this is completely unfair. So it's not the aim of uh, this, uh, this uh, paper to discuss about the causes why uh, the Roma doesn't succeed. Uh, concluding the, part, the first part, it is to say uh, the results are incredibly insignificant. Uh, what it means, what is to be done. This is my main part of the presentation that I will be uh, short at my team. Uh, what the possible uh, political success would mean? <coughs> if the Roma will be a uh, winner in this uh, uh, political context, uh, uh, contest, uh, for the majority, I think we can uh, consider that will be uh, advantages as uh, an impulse for a consensual democracy uh, instead of nurturing a divisive a policy democracy. Uh, I used here the Lipsha uh, term with a limited uh, power uh, opposition's dialogue. Uh, I, I mean, uh, in Romania we have uh, uh, contest, a permanent fight between government and opposition. There is not space for the culture of dialogue. And if uh, the, the Roma will succeed to be a player in the, the political arena, I think we had a chance for this one. Uh, in another uh, Factor is uh, developing the political culture of a responsible, accountable policy toward the minority. The policy of uh, uh, toward the minority in Romania is a very complicated topic. Uh, if you look in the documents, everything is okay. If you look in the real life, the a reality is different. For the Roma minority, uh, the political success could mean uh, an impulse to assume an effective, sorry for the spelling, an accountable management in implementing <coughs> strategy devoted to Roma emancipation. This comes under some doubts because there are a lot of uh, Roma that are uh, very well trained to access uh, European fund, uh, uh, other uh, <coughs> funds uh, to use for the uh, Roma population emancipation. Unfortunately, there are not results for the population. Uh, will be new opportunity to develop a sustainable policy of inclusion addressing to the minority. Uh, will be a new opportunity to develop uh, a sustainable policy uh, of inclusion addressing to the minority, to Roma especially. Uh, the credit for new phase of the Roma emancipation, teaching the communities, sorry, the lesson of specific contribution and uh, becoming a net contributor to the EU project united in diversity. Roma has a lot of uh, things to teach us. Uh, we discussed uh, uh, during the break about the, their uh, 
history of crossing the culture from northern India to Western Europe, and a uh, history of crossing the harsh time uh, from, let's say, 1000 to our age. They uh, accumulate a lot of experience, but they are invisible for us. Nobody take care about what happened with Roma history. Somebody complained yesterday here that there are not lines in the history textbooks about the neighboring country history. But there is nobody place for Roma history, the most dramatical and the most significant history for the uh, European policy gaps, I would say. Uh, it's also reviving the EU project of multiculturalism. You know, all of you, that uh, it was in 2010 when Angela Merkel declared officially and publicly multiculti is over. We start to a new uh, policy. With a social Europe, I don't think we can accept such a new uh, way. <clears throat> what the academic uh, have to do about my understanding? Um, <clears throat> I think it's our job to do more for our culture, for our polity, for our community, for our European identity. First of all, we have to develop a reliable database on Roma and on their problems. It's nobody that knows in this world how many Roma they are. There are claims, there are in, in the entire world uh, around 70 millions of Roma. This is more than the uh, population of France. Uh, we can find Roma everywhere. Very nice um, stories about the Roma were uh, we, we uh, all of us uh, read in uh, uh, Gabriel Garcia Mar Marquez uh, uh, novels. If you uh, think to one thousand year of solitude, one hundred years of solitude, you have there a group of. Roma, which deposit the ancient wisdom. Uh, please look before. Uh, we have uh, Roma everywhere. There are claims that Bill Clinton belongs to a uh, Roma uh, group. Uh, his grandfather used to be the uh, son of the Bulibasha somewhere in Irlanda. They say, I, I don't know, that there are data that shall be, uh, that must be checked, but there are. Uh, so developing a reliable database is our first mission. Uh, we have, this is demography, geographically we have to know where the Roma come, where they are. Uh, there are uh, a lot of uh, information that uh, uh, are circulate in the uh, media and on the internet may, uh, uh, mostly about their um, uh, origin in the North India, in the Hindu valley, and they are assimilated with Banjara population. It's not quite correct. Some of them doesn't come from Hindu valley, but Ganja valley, and they are spread also to China and to the uh, eastern world of uh, the world. So geography has to be completed there. History. How many of us know that the, Roman, uh, the Roma population passed through a holocaust? It's Pojarnost. They were uh, uh, internet in Auschwitz and they have to suffer a lot of damage. Uh, Romanian uh, are not uh, um, were not very good with drama. They deported uh, forced uh, uh, mobility to the Bug region, 
where the mother was forced to throw their children in the water just to save them for a worst uh, life. So it's uh, awful to know this one. Um, to know their mobility and their migration. There is a myth in the Roma culture that all the time you have to go to the West. The heaven for the Roma culture is to the West. So it's something to be learned here. Construct, uh, and another uh, duty for us is constructing available base on Roma culture, languages, music, and dances. What uh, I mean, uh, I, I, I like to discuss about multilingualism here. The language. Roma is right now in a process of constructing their national language. I will be uh, immediately uh, uh, ready. Uh, <clears throat> I end my presentation. Uh, Roma is trying to construct their national language uh, right now, and uh, the Romanes, the language spoke in the Eastern uh, Europe, uh, is trying to be the base, but there is an important researcher, this Michael uh, Michel Curtiade, Curtiad, the origin is maybe uh, Romanian, and he uh, was trying to construct a Roman language uh, in a way similar with the Eastern uh, Far Eastern language. You know Korean and uh, uh, Japanese and Chinese, they are um, mutually understandable because they use the same uh, sign for uh, the word, in a way. So they try to do uh, the same way. Uh, uh, another time I will try to, to discuss more about this. Uh, what I like to draw the attention for you is that they were important musical players. Oh, uh, our musical culture is uh, due to the Roma contributions. Uh, the Luti is an Indian cast of uh, musician and lawyer and intelligentsia in the same time. If you look in different language from the North India to uh, Britain, the Luti is the same word. Uh, in German, in French, in uh, Italian, in every uh, other uh, language, I will discuss, I, I will um, um, challenge you to find the origin of Martin Luther. Uh, and uh, the dances, there are a way to communicate, to harmonize the culture, learning this, the, to harmonize the um, communities. If we look to them, I think we have uh, a lot to learn about uh, ourselves, not about Roma. Uh, if we don't do, uh, uh, sorry, uh, we have also to open the field of so uh, called the forbidden Roma topics. Uh, some group of Roma is jeopardizing uh, citizen security in all our uh, region. Some of them misusing uh, public amenities. The uh, scandals in France and all the Europe, uh, Western Europe is connected with this. Uh, <coughs> They ruining the mutual trust about the neighbor. Nobody want to be neighbor with the Roma because they still they do uh, bad uh, things. To discuss this in a scientific environment and very precisely, and to look to some different group of Roma that practice this kind of work is uh, important for us. Beggar, for example, is a specific group of Roma. Not far from my city home, there is a common culture to break the arm of the newborn, it's three months, uh, in order to make him able to beggar. It is a, a practice that is current even today. So, to
to discuss this very uh, uh, argument, it is uh, important, to initiate reflection on the future, future Europe, to project uh, views on Euro, uh, aging Europe on 30 years, uh, looking to the migratory waves in the future years, and to look to the contribution of the Roma. Uh, my uh, personal uh, involvement and my personal play is here to trust the new Roma elite and to help them. If we don't support them, the non-inclusive group of pro-inclusion group in the Roma will prevail and not in our favor. Uh, <clears throat> we have to develop academic structures to initiate public conference to develop academic topic on Roma uh, for the teacher, for the journalist and for political scientist at least. Nobody knows the, the problem of the Roma and the situation of the Roma. Developing the philosophical courses on otherness in the culture uh, for all the MA students devoted to the formation of future teachers, journalists, and so on and so forth. Uh, with serious and persisting contribution to Roma inclusion, the next generation will get the chance to overcome the mentality of seeing the other as an intruder in our polity or as an enemy. Uh, we have the chance to look to him as an alternative resources for our self-development. Sorry to be so long. Sorry. Thank you.